Okay, guys. What's going on? I'm about to make this a quick entry because my parents are just about. To, I mean, my mom and my brother are just about to pull up, but I'm actually about to go to Capernaum. Now, the Capernaum vlog. I'll be a little late because I also have basketball practice. Um, but at least I'm gonna get to go, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, my name is Lil Clayclay, and I have five functioning autism, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right. Just can't hear. I think I'm really late, but thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Do you want to join our game or you just want to watch? This is I'll watch. Round. Okay. All right. Tommy, you got the ball, man. Oh, oh nice. Antonio's got the ball. All right. Oh. Yeah, I just threw it. Oh. I totally missed it. My bad. You can go wherever you want. Good, good. Didn't mean to hit you though that hard. The bouncing ball. Okay, ready? Here we go. Perfect. What's it gonna be? Luke's really thinking about it. Just hurry up and throw the ball already. Who's open? It's not like he's watching. Join the. Okay, who's farther away? Him or him? I don't know. Three, Matt. Two, Matt. one. Matt. We trust Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. And that's you guys. Yeah. And the play to Jonah. And right over here. We have an option. We have either we can do one more game, or we can do a fun, fast song dance. Oh gosh! Oh, which one? Whoa. I have another have game. Everyone, yeah. oh, close their eyes and we'll take the vote. Sounds good. Hey, how about heads up, seven? Take the votes. Another one bites the dust. Oh. 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 Let's go. All right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I'm gonna give you the option. Raise your hand for the one that you want. So if you want a game, raise your hand if you want another game. <laughs> All right, hands down. If you want the song, raise your hand. All right, everyone can open their eyes. The votes have decided, and we're doing what? Uh, we're doing a game. Woo! 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 So, we're going to have one person that's going to be our point guard. And the point guard is kind of like the person that's the shark. So, those. It looked like I was having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get that? What are we having? I know it's been a while. So, tonight I will be reading 
from um, John 20 and Luke 24, verses 13 through 35, specifically talking about mm -hmm. the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Part one oh, and man. part two. search for answers and just like wondering like what can we do to you know try to figure out what happened. But little did they know is that you know Jesus had risen up on his own. And that you know he was gonna wait to you know surprise everybody and just coming back out of his nowhere. And the verse said in John 20 it said after he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. So in that verse, that's when the disciples realized it was Jesus because they were going into this town um, in search of some answers. And the whole time, Jesus was disguised as this other person. And they couldn't recognize him. He put on a very good disguise. And it took them getting into the town and getting to a house and just sitting there and just conversating with this person that they didn't know that was Jesus. And him uh, revealing himself in a very, you know, interesting and different way that they were used to, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, it was Jesus. So when he did that, you know, they were shocked. They didn't, they didn't believe it. And when he, uh, said what he said in uh, John 20. Let me read it again. After he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. So it took him showing his hands and his side to reveal to him, to reveal to them that that was him the whole time. And it was shocking. Part two of it all. Uh, after rising from the grave, Jesus decided to disguise himself, like I said, then he traveled with the two to the town called Enos. And let's And after realizing it was Jesus, uh, they were just overjoyed. They was they was happy and they were motivated, they were ready to get back to doing what they were made or called to do. And in conclusion with that. The whole thing is just saying Jesus is with us through it all, even when we can't feel him or see him. He's there through it all. And the other conclusion to the other part was Jesus is alive. He is there and we can have a real relationship with him. Alright y'all, so I 
Um, we're pretty much done now. We're all just hanging out. Um, I'm gonna end this YouTube video. I'm sorry it was so short, y'all. Just I had basketball and I had to kind of balance that between Capernaum. I don't know if I'll be able to film the last one, but I am gonna be possibly going to camp, the summer camp, as a leader. I'm really praying about that. I'm hoping they'll give me the green wristband this time. You know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.